Hi, Colin Lay here, Chief Lawyer Human at Lay Roots. I want to talk to you about why it's important to nominate temporary or short-term guardians for your minor children. Now, most attorneys uh, stop at naming long-term guardians uh, for parents with minor children. And I think that's a huge mistake. Um, it's not planning from a parent's perspective um, for a number of reasons. So think about if um, you were out, say, on a date night or something here in Seattle. Uh, it's pouring rain today. Uh, car goes out of control, get in an accident. You both end up in a hospital. Um, kids are at home with a babysitter. Now, police come, see the car, uh, you know, put two and two together that you have children at home. So they have a duty to make sure that your children are taken care of. So they go to your house, find your kids with a babysitter. They're going to ask the babysitter if there's any family members around. Um, if there's not, see if the babysitter is legally authorized to stay with the kids, and chances are they're not. Uh, most babysitters have uh, a phone number and maybe the name of a doctor. Um, so the police would be obligated to take the children into protective custody, that's foster care, and it might just be short term. Um, but for most parents I know, any amount of time is too long. Um, so what you want to do, in addition to naming long-term guardians, is you want to name some short-term guardians, temporary guardians, who are going to be with your children within 20 or 30 minutes of being notified. Now that might be your long-term guardians if they live close by, but if they're, if they're further away than that, you want to choose neighbors, friends, somebody who your children know, like, and trust to be there for them if something should happen to you. And that way, your kids are always going to stay in the care of somebody uh, that they know um, if the situation arises. And they would stay with those temporary or short-term guardians until your long-term guardians could arrive. Now, uh, another thing to think about on that is um, if your long-term guardians are nearby, um, and if you've only named them in a will, think about where your will is. Usually when people say they've done a will and I ask them where it is, you know, there's this moment where the, the wheels are turning where they're trying to think where they put it. So in an emergency, people aren't going to have your will handy to say, hey, look, you know, I'm the, the long-term guardian who's been appointed in this will. Uh, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have appointed guardians and that those guardians have the paperwork uh, and the instructions to arrive when and if they're needed to show that they are the guardians uh, and that they, could take, uh, they can take the kids and uh, keep them safe for you um, in the time of need. So. That's why it's important to have temporary guardians. If you have any questions, please send them our way. Uh, I'd love to answer them in another video. You can send them to support at layroots.com. If you're not a subscriber, please click and subscribe. Thank you for watching.